Well, you will need to stay extra vigilant on the roads as you travel today or tomorrow for the holidays and return this weekend. Rainy weather expected throughout the Grand Strand. Millions will hit the roads nationwide. South Carolina Highway Patrol will also increase their presence across the state. Gabrielle Coriati joins us now with what else the Highway Patrol is doing this year to help drivers travel safely. We need to hear this, Gabrielle. Lance Corporal Lena Butler tells me drivers will be seeing an increase of patrols on the roads this holiday weekend, but they're also going to have support from the skies. We're leaving right now, just as soon as we get done here. Charles Amons is eager to hit the road. He's driving to Atlanta today, happy to miss out on some of the holiday rush. I'm anticipating tomorrow and especially even the day of, even Thursday, it's going to be pretty hor horrible, I would imagine. We met some relatives coming down from Virginia and they were already having a hard, hard time getting here. With the increase in road travel, the South Carolina Highway Patrol is teaming up with the Department of Natural Resources to provide aerial enforcement support on major interstates. Butler says this is the first time in her eight years with Highway Patrol they've used this. The goal is to get ahead of aggressive driving. Early detection is always good because when there's early detection that can defer, you know, the aggressive driver, that can defer uh, the intoxicated driver. You know, that's an effort. That effort also helps people to remember to do, you know, to practice safe driving behaviors. Highway Patrol will use a tactic from Wednesday night through Sunday, which are usually the busiest days. But it's up to drivers to take the first steps towards safety. Wearing seatbelts, not driving distracted, and not drinking and driving are some of officers' top concerns. Well, a lot of our collisions come from people rushing, right? and then that rushing, they're speeding, or they're weaving in and out of traffic, not using their proper turn signals and things like that. So plan accordingly, try to leave early so you don't have to rush. Uh, obviously, your safety, your loved ones want you there, right? Um, whether you're late or not, it does, you know, you being safe is the number one concern. Wilkinson also says in this wet weather, hydroplaning can be a concern. He says if you feel yourself hydroplaning, don't slam on the brakes. It can make it worse. Instead, just let go of the accelerator, let the car slow itself down, and do your best to keep driving straight. Live in Horry County, Gabrielle Coriati, WMBF News.